Hi everyone! Welcome to our channel. Um, today we are going to Mitsua. It is a Japanese grocery store located in New Jersey, um, in Edgewater, New Jersey. I think there's about 11 total locations in the U.S. Um, there's some in there's I believe there's one in Texas, in Chicago, definitely one in New Jersey, and probably California. Anyways, Mitsua is amazing. You can buy so many things here, um, from food, household items, um, fresh fish, meat, sushi grade fish, um, different kinds of hot food, cold food, and then it's also a part of a um, marketplace and there are other stores, um, Asian based. Um, like Daiso and I believe Shishido is also here and I, there's a restaurant here as well But today we went to see um, we went and visited Mitsua and Like I said, they sell Asian foods drinks dessert household items um, amazing um, quality sushi fillets like tuna salmon yellowtail They also have um, frozen aisles for dumplings and dessert um, we usually come here maybe once or twice a month to pick up some sushi items. Um, we love to make our own sushi. The kids love sushi, especially Finn. My husband is actually getting really good at rolling our sushi dishes. And it's much cheaper than going to a sushi restaurant and making and buying sushi itself. Um, like I said, everything tastes amazing. Um, salmon is sushi grade. Um, everything is reasonably priced you get a lot for each fillet um, and you control the portion of rice or vegetables you want to add to your sushi um, they also have a great selection of snack food that's only found in asia um, we love all the snacks the kid loves all the snack they love the colorful um, boxes they come in. We like to gift them to little kids just because the wrappers or the wrapping is just so cute. Um, my husband also get his sake from the store and they also sell other Asian beers. My husband only drinks sake um, from, this rest, from this store so I'm not really sure what type of other Asian beers you can purchase. So um, this is actually very close to New York so it is like a day trip from New York City um, it's close to Rockaway Beach in Queens um, and it is a great day to spend your day just browsing and shopping um, like I said it's a day trip from New York City and it's not a hard it's not a hard commute especially if since it's only a bus ride away so take a look at all their things here um, my kids just love touching everything in the store and they also sell beauty products unfortunately I can't read the writing so it's hard for me to understand you know what each product um, does so I've heard that I can use Google Translate so I can translate the wording on the product so I will do that next time I come here um, I did get they do sell like um, makeup wipes and and things like that that I have purchased flushable wipes I purchased that as well and I had gotten a bamboo steamer from here that I use for a long long time to steam my soup dumplings and my dumplings and it comes out perfectly and it was really affordable i believe a medium sized one which was like 10 inch in diameter was 19 dollars so that's really affordable and they sell chaps chapsticks and they sell um sushi kits rice cooker um, basically anything you need to make your own sushi they also have um, a wide a wide variety of um Spices and sauce. I get a lot of sauces from here. My rice vinegar from here. I get sacks of rice. Um, yeah, so there's so many things you get to look at to buy. It's just fun. So take a look.
so this Mitsuwa, I'm not sure about the other Mitsuwa in other states, but this one has a food court along with the grocery store. Um, so if you spend all day shopping and browsing, you can take a rest and get some food at the, um, the, the, the food court. And the lines are usually long, especially for the tempura dishes. Um, when I was there, I was able to get my food really, really fast. I had ordered a rainbow roll and it was very, very tasty. And it was, like I said, it was very affordable as well. Um, so they have a, the food court um, have um, crispy trip, strips of pork katsu, um, they have shrimp tempura, they have fish cakes, they have ramen, diff so many kinds of ramen, so many kinds, and they're all delicious. They, they even sell mushrooms, shiitake mushrooms, gummy candies, onigiri, different kinds of pickling stuff, literally anything that you um, can think of when when you think about going to a Japanese grocery store, you can buy from here. Um, they also sell some American brands. I don't really look too much of that. I try. I love the, the cultural brands they sell here. Um, they also sell like shown here dried seaweed. So many varieties. Like I said, I cannot read any of this writing, so. I basically just grab what looks good to me um, but so far I've grabbed different types and I've not gotten anything that didn't taste taste good or anything like that so I don't think you can go wrong they also have fresh produce I have purchased cabbage from here we like to line our bamboo st uh, steamer with cabbage um, and the cabbage are fresh um, and it's you know you clean it when you get home and it's actually very clean so these these meats you see I think is what they use for hot pots um, you know you you boil your soup base and then you put all these different meats with, along with different vegetables I've done that once but not at my house I've done that um, in a restaurant um, oh, never mind. I have done that at my house, and we we use the pork strips, and it was really really tasty. Although I didn't have too many sauces, so I think I could have done better. They also have free packaged food. Um, I've only purchased the poke bowl here, and it was a little spicy for me, but that's my fault. I didn't read the the, um, the ingredients. Um, but my husband liked it because he loves spicy food. But they do have a really big selection of prepackaged food. So come here hungry because you will find so many things to just snack on while you shop. And you literally can be here for maybe an hour or two. In the entrance of the marketplace, there is a arcade area. My kids love to spend money in there. The games are extremely hard though. I think um, since I've been coming here, I've probably invested thousands of dollars and gotten one prize. So unless you're really good at arcade games, it's not really an arcade game. It's more like those claw games and you get to claw uh, those little balls filled with toys. Um, I'm not very good at that and I think you need to have certain techniques to really get those balls and then you, you stand there and you spend so much money just trying to claw one. Um, so let's keep going. They do have frozen food as well. I purchased dumplings, soup dumplings from there and um, they were delicious. They also have, I think they have french fries. I think they have like some American style food. And of course they have ice cream as well. I've not gotten too many frozen foods, so I really can't speak as to the quality of the frozen aisle. 
like selections but i did get the soup dumplings and the regular dumplings from there and they were pretty good so let's keep going So I think this is the selection of alcohol. Um, my husband just like Japanese sake. Um, I don't think he would know the other kinds of beers. I'm not really sure what these are, but they were on sale. So I hope people grab them. I'm not sure what a tarimi is, um, but there's so many sales going on and the prices were fairly fair. And affordable and these are the spices um, I like to get my Japanese mayo from here and that reminds me I need to get more and they have chili sauce um, hot chili and pre-packaged or pre-made um, soup base for when you're making hot pot and they also have pre-packaged um, for ramen if you want to make um, ramen base for ramen soup and I've tasted the beef flavored one I purchased those and they were delicious so I have not ventured into the chicken or the shrimp but I'm sure they're also good you can't really go wrong with ramen right So I mentioned earlier that I'd purchased some bamboo steamers from here and that's what you just saw. And the quality is really good. I've not purchased any cleaning products from here. Um, but I'm sure I'm sure they're not bad as well. Oh, and they of course they sell a lot of um, containers and storage. Um, mostly to store rice. To st and then they also sell these really cute things if you can't roll your own sushi rice it's like um a device and you just put the rice you shake it around and then it comes out shaped like a sushi like a, um, a sushi rice so it's like pre-shaper is that what you call it it's like yeah. and then they sell um cooking items woks um a lot of bamboo utensils a lot of um bento boxes chapstick uh these are to roll the, the sushi rice they even sell those containers like this one um to put your sake um when you have hot sake you put it inside these bamboo containers and of course they sell hot pot um electrical um pots so you can do your own hot pot at home and the fresh produce like i said earlier they have fresh produce it looks it's looking a little bare right now but usually it's pretty full um they have cabbage shiitake mushrooms lots of carrots cucumbers um i don't usually buy produce from here because i can find them cheaper in other um other uh typical typical um grocery store like shop right but i do get my asian produce here like my cabbages my shiitake mushrooms and things like that i have not purchased any um of those beautiful steamers that are made of porcelain because i have one that i bought from amazon so once that gives i'm going to come back here and purchase one from mitsua So I have to talk about this bakery store. 
today i'm not sure what it's called but it's very soft bread and it's sweet as well every time i come here i buy this sweet bread i don't really buy any of the big the big um the pastries um because i'm not sure what they are but i do buy the sweet bread i think they're right here and i use them to make my french toast I use them for just snacking, various things. They're delicious. So this is another store um, right across from Mitsua, but it's in the same marketplace area. And they sell a lot of um, plush toys and luggages. Um, I think they, and this is Shishido, they sell makeup. I didn't need makeup that day, so I didn't go in but I do buy my sunscreen from Shishido they are the best um, and I feel like they're a little expensive but you pay for quality and this is Daiso we like this store because everything here is just so cute the kids like to roam here you can buy things for cheap um, but the quality is is decent I mean you know you it's not that expensive so you're not gonna you're not going to get like porcelain expensive things but they do sell high quality items as well but they usually have like little knickknacks little fun things um, you just browse around and find something just adorable um, my kids like to to just roam around and find things like um, popsicle molds um they find little cute hair clips lots of storage things they sell um but i don't really purchase my storage bins from here i uh, usually go to michael's which is the one because it's a little cheaper there I am so sorry if the camera is all over the place. My kids are so excited to be in here that I'm probably telling them to sit down or don't grab this or grab that. So this is something that gives me nostalgia when I see in Philippines where I grew up. We have hangers just like these. You can it's one hanger that you hang on the wire on like a a, a string or rope and it has it releases like and clips so you're able to hang so many items including and it's just hooked to one hanger and in Philippines that was very big so when I whenever I see that I just I think about like my childhood and helping do laundry um, just something I wanted to share So these are the ice cream molds I was talking about. They have Disney shaped ones. They had baking goods, a lot of silicone um, molds for can for making candies, cupcake holders, so many fun things and cute things, and they were not that expensive. So my kids loved all of these things, and they're so cute, and they have so many varieties. We seriously could have stayed in this store for a long, long time and just browse around and buy everything, but of course we didn't. So here are some porcelain dish, dishes, um, or ceramic dishes, and they were really affordable and I can tell they're good quality, and I think I had purchased um, sake cups from my husband here um, they're just plain white ones but they sell so, um, so many things that um, so with so many designs um, I, these were trays I believe yep 
and like I said, so many little dishes, pots for tea, pots for to put your soy sauce, soy sauce in, your sauces in. Um, they also sell some food items, uh, green tea, tea bags, um, and basically everything you need to make tea. That's my kid. He was looking at the noodle section. They do have a small noodle section and a small section for snacks like seaweed snacks, seaweed snacks, and dried fruits. And they they were delicious as well. So I think we're coming to an end to our little uh, trip here and we had so much fun and the kids loved it here. We purchased some hair clips for Ray, um, little toys for the boys. I think I had gotten myself some snacks um, because I really, it's, I have a hard time finding snacks like these where I live. This is about 45 minutes from my house, but it's worth the trip every time I find something new. It has, I've never been disappointed with anything we purchased. The quality of fish, the snacks, um, the little goodies, they, they are amazing and it's really worth the trip. Whether or not you're coming from New York or in the suburbs of New Jersey like we were. Um, we spent about an hour or two in here. We have a, we usually have lunch here, so we make it like a little day trip for the kids and for Anthony and I. And for us, it's really worth the trip. I hope you guys find your way here, and I hope this video has been helpful in showing you what you guys can do while you're in Mitsua in this general area. Bye! Thank you for watching.